Hi, and welcome to NTI Online. My name is David Nicholson, and today we're going to troubleshoot an error code 603. The error code 603 is caused when either the condensate drain plugs up or the exhaust of the boiler uh, becomes plugged and provides too much back pressure. Another cause for this error code is too much suction in the boiler cabinet, which would indicate you have a blocked air intake pipe. The first thing to inspect with an error code 603, you want to open up the cabinet, look at your condensate drain. Specifically, you want to look at the water level. The water level should only ever be about one inch from the top of the trap and never any higher. If it is, it may be time to clean out your trap and examine the condensate drain to make sure it's flowing freely. Look for telltale traces of water up in this tubing here. This tubing is connected to the air switch and as the water level backs up, it will apply pressure to the switch and cause it to trip. If the condensate drain looks good, and especially if you only ever see this problem as the boiler ramps to its maximum capacity, you'll want to examine the flue pipe carefully because high back pressure in the exhaust caused by a blockage is enough to trip the air switch. One way you can check to see if the switch is tripping at the right pressure or not is to remove the tubing from the switch, connect it to the positive port on your manometer, and then run the boiler. If you notice that the pressure on your manometer is reading over two inches, it indicates that you do have a blocked exhaust. Even at maximum venting lengths on the minimum venting size, there's never an expectation of seeing more than about 1.6 or 1.7 inches back pressure. If you have that, you do have a blockage and you want to fix that. Pull the air switch out, examine the two wire connections. There's only two connections that are used. You'll want to make sure that the wires are firmly connected to both posts. And this is a normally closed switch. What that means is you'll have continuity between these contacts until either there's too much negative pressure on the negative side or too much positive on the positive side or a mixture of both. So a blocked air intake will cause suction in the cabinet, which could cause you to trip on the negative side here. Too much exhaust pressure will push too hard on the plus here, tripping it out for an exhaust problem. And too much condensate, of course, will do the same thing, pushing on the plus side, tripping your switch. Error code 603 is almost never the switch. It's virtually always a blocked exhaust or a clogged condensate drain. I'll reconnect this. The other thing you can do is inspect the wiring between the switch and the control board. To do this, grab your voltmeter, set it to check for continuity. Always test your meter for function before you assume it's working. Remove the air switch. Disconnect at least one wire from the switch and test across the two contacts. You should have continuity. If you have continuity with nothing connected, the switch is working. Reconnect the gray wire. You can place the switch back into its holder and reconnect the tubing. Make sure this tube connects to the positive port only. Next, open up the control board. As you face the boiler, you're going to look for the top left-hand connector. It has about eight wires, nine wires in it. And what you're looking for is one that has a couple of black wires, some gray wires, some brown wires, red and blue. And the two that you're concerned with are the two gray wires. Take your voltmeter again, carefully insert it into this electrical connector, and you want to go between the two gray wires and check to see that you have continuity. If you have continuity through those wires, it indicates the wires are connected to the switch and that you have a complete circuit. Replace the connector on the control board and see if the problem persists. In nine out of 10 cases or better, it's going to be clogged condensate or blocked exhaust. I hope that helps you in your troubleshooting. And as always, if you have any problems, contact NTI Tech Support at 1-800-688-2575.